lights out at Monza and F2 is underway with a poor getaway for Luca Giotto. That's going to give a chance to drivers behind, including Mick Schumacher, who's immediately up then. Lunga trying to pressure on the inside. Sonoda dropping back. Schumacher's gone up to second position. He's gone all the way around the outside. It's Callum Eilot, then Schumacher, then it's Lunga side by side with Luca Giotto, who's got the better drive off the corner. They've all made their way through. Eilot, Schumacher, Lunga, and then Sonoda dropping behind Luca Giotto. So down to fifth place goes Sonoda from the front row as they go side by side further down the field. But Callum Eilot getting it right there and Schumacher already making up for a difficult, difficult qualifying session which left him in seventh place. He's already up to second as they all scramble to get through the second chicane. Now let's look at it from on board. He's already tapered to the inside, gets caught up a bit behind the second row, but he just has so much speed off the line. Was almost around the outside of Sonoda. Indeed, he was around the outside of the Sonoda in the first chicane. Now Sonoda trying to recover from that difficult start. He's alongside Lungard. He's out of the wheel tracks. He's powering ahead and he is reclaiming third position. Schumacher gains ground but can't do much. Last of the late breakers, Lungard, it's not enough. And Sonoda takes the place. Sonoda goes defensive, you're going to pass and repass, and Giotto very close to losing it, he will lose it, and he'll go straight on at the chicane. Amazingly, they all just about keep it on the tarmac in one form or another. Giotto had to cut it, Lungard has got the place though, Giotto feathers out the throttle. And now Yuki Sonoda has an opportunity, but he doesn't have track position off the road. Goes Lungard. Will Lungard feather that throttle out and give the place up? No, he'll go so... Yes, in the end he will. In the end he decides that's the better bet. Callum Eilot pits from the lead. It's one of the biggest pit deltas of the year, purely because of the... Oh, and Callum stalled! Oh, Callum, Callum stalled Eilot in the pit. stalled! And they have to go to work here. That is a potentially huge moment in the context of the race. How quickly can they get him out? Not before Yuki Tsunoda, who takes track position. Oh, and there's panic down there at the Virtuosi team. Huge shove to get him back out into the race. Can they get him out? Yes, they can. But that is a huge amount of time lost for the former race leader, Callum Eilot. He's going to lose so many track positions thanks to that moment. Side by side, Nikita Mazepin, Roy Nisani, wheel to wheel into the first again. And wide goes Nikita Mazepin, Nisani losing places. Through goes Guan Yu Zhou, through goes Jay and Daruvula up to third, Joe up to fourth, Nisani in fifth. And race control will be looking at that one because Nikita Mazepin has tumbled down the order. Guan Yu Zhou going to make another position though as he goes to the second chicane. He's looking at third at the moment. And who breaks latest? They're all being very polite. Guan Yu Zhou finds a way through around the outside. Such an intelligent move. He gets Gave him all the space to lock up on the apex, just swept round the outside. Schwartzman has the DRS. Schwartzman can't do anything about it. Can he pick his breaking point just about? Callum Eilot gets past his championship rival. It's another one for Callum Eilot. This time getting past Louis Delatraz. Uh, Guan Yu Zhou looking for that inside line. Louis Delatraz can't respond. Guan Yu Zhou up another position, P6. Here comes Luca Giotto. Thinks about the inside line. Yes, he's going to get there first. And up to second place goes Luca Giotto. The high tech driver is through. In the nick of time, Tictum's going to improve up to seventh position. Delatraz now hanging on to uh, reverse grip pole. Mick Schumacher wins for the first time in 2020, takes the checkered flag at Monza, beats Luca Giotto and Christian Lungard, who were second and third. Good job. Very good race. Very good race. That's it. That's it. Well, Mick Schumacher has put himself into contention then. He is just a couple of points behind and we are absolutely level at the top of the standings. It's Schwartzman with the lead. We're going to go racing again tomorrow. It'd be great to have your company when FIA Formula 2 returns.